Yes, people, how are we doing? Today we're back again for another vlog at home at Selwa's Park. Crystal Palace are taking on Nottingham Forest, a side that we haven't beaten in over 12 years in all competitions and that. Um, and the last time we beat it was 2011 and that was in the championship. So it says it all really to be fair. But yeah, last season we only took about what one point off them out of a possible six, losing one and drawing on the back end of last season five months ago at Selwa's Park. Um, but yeah, look, Forest, they're going to know they've got to come in today, you know, we're all, you know, hoping that they're going to get a win. They should do, to be fair, on paper, you know, compared to our team right now with how thin our squad is in that. You know what I mean? The favourites in that, they've got so much fire going forward in Gibbs White, Awani, Alanga, Origi and hudson Adoy players like that. They've got class all around physically. They're, very, they're going to be very difficult to compete with in that. But we just got to defend for our lives and fight hard and battle for 90 minutes like we did last week out at Old Trafford. And hopefully we get a bit of luck and hopefully when we do get a chance, if we even get a chance, let alone an attempt, we're ruthless and we take it like we did last week at that at United. So I really, really am hoping for a hard fighting, battling performance in that for Palace. The best we can hope for was a draw. A win would be absolutely out of this world. It would be unbelievable if that happened today. You know, especially going into the uh, international break, that will keep us in the top 10 and that. So, yeah, now we've got a major injury crisis. It's been a very hard week, really. That Old Trafford win was easily forgotten about and that, to be fair. And, um, yeah, with the Kure and Eze picking up a hamstring injury, um, each and that and obviously Ward is now out with a groin injury it's not good man you know the squad's feeling nice it's down to Parrish on the board he's screwed up in the summer their big gambles and that have gone to a complete waste and have fallen down the pecking order you know we've got 10 first team players out injured it's not good I feel bad for some of the players like Ayu um, Edward and Anderson again I feel bad for Roy Hodgson having to put up with this rubbish got to bloody just compete we got to really just manage the game well. Tactically, we need to think of a strategy to get around Nottingham Forest's defence and physicality within their unit. So we just really just got to manage it well and um, kind of be patient. You know, when we do get an opportunity, we got to take it with perfection. So come on the Palace, man. See you a lot at Selhurst Park. Going to be on the way there. And yeah, hope who knows what's going to happen. But yeah, I mean, I, I do think we're going to probably lose this by... A goal to nil. It's going to be a frustrating afternoon. But listen, the best we can hope for is a draw. Fingers crossed the team. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed they somehow prove me wrong. Uh, Dabba, bye, Sellers. What are your score predictions for today's game? Oh, I'm not very optimistic. <laughs> no Eze, no Decore. Um, we've got uh, half a team out. Right? Yeah. We've got Mateta and Ed Edward up front. We're mm. going to be playing a lot of the long ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Look, if we get a win today, that would probably be the best win of the season. I know it's not yeah. the worst and we expected to win at home. Mm. It's going to be a really, really tough game before those injuries. Physically as well so with a team like them too. It's going to be, you know, Forest are pretty physical. Too. Not dirty physically, yeah, yeah, but they, yeah. they, they, they can stay in the game for 90 minutes. So I'm trying to keep my fingers crossed and my hopes up. What's your prediction? But it's going to be... I'm, I'm, I'm looking... Honestly, just be honest. I'm hoping the West. I'm hoping that Palace will nick it one 0 One 0 yeah. Okay, I love, I love the optimism. I'm like mine. Yeah, yeah. Well, it'll be a tough one up the Palace. Come on. Up the Palace. Come on. As you can see, they changed ends. Interesting. How about you, Eagles? Red and blue. Whoa. Whoa. Hey oh, hey oh. Come on, the palace. Come on, palace. I feel it. La 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 la, yes, I'm. La 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 la, baby, I'm. Glad all over, so glad you're mine. Not a bad start here, you know, keeping the ball very well compared to Forrest. So I did that. Oh, come on, they drive you better than that. Someone should have been attacking that, though. Come on, Paddy! Jerome, Jerome. Oh, read about all the quarter. Taking their time with it. Not the best. Ah, oh, it's gone straight through. What a save by Johnson, bloody. Roy Hodgson's red blow me. Oh, we're trying out the back. Oh, it's going to be 1-0 up. And Gibbs White trips over the keeper. And it hits the post and comes back out to Johnson. It's 
straight through this now. Pulled straight through our defence, starting through. Should have been one or down. Forest have had a better chances. We right now don't even look like scoring. Hate to say it, but it's true. Well, injury crisis is getting worse. Now Schlupp's gone down on deck. Jesus Christ, man. This is that, he's probably pulled his hands through. It looks like he has. God knows what it is. Yeah. Raksaki's coming on for Schlupp. Good Lord. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough to Raksaki. Raksaki. The Schlupp's gone off injured. Disappointing, but at least Raksaki's one out of all players. He's going to give more than Schlupp. Six, eighty, sixty-one. Oh, well, we ain't got no options. We're struggling. We are struggling to create chances and... Well, I did say keep the ball, but we're doing all right now. Come on, come on, come on. We're going backwards and sideways. That's all we're doing. Oh, God, do better. He's got to either hit the target or be scoring. How? That's the best chance we're going to get, and we didn't take it, and we're going to ruin it. I'm telling you. Oh, come on, Jordan. Best chance he's had this game, and we blazed it. I wish he was there trying on someone to score. Not fucking are you, man? He just works hard, they can't finish the topics. No, get up. Come on. Oh. Rioters, red blarmay. Rioters, red blarmay. CBFC. Super Sam Johnson again. Top save. One of the Nottingham Forest defenders running through us like a hot knife through Butler in a way. And he pulls up a top decent fair save, innit? Keeping us in the game. We keep it a nil nil, you know what I mean? Where would we be without him? Super Sam Johnson in goal. Well, I'll take that. Bloody hell. Didn't play bad, but could have, should be 1 0 down there, to be fair. If it wasn't for our keeper, but we've been playing decent with the resources we got in it. 0 0. Lucky not to be maybe 1 or 2 0 down with the chances for us. Had a miss. We, all we've pretty much done is had a what an IU chance. They blazed over. They should have taken control and hit the target and probably would have scored. Quite a close opportunity. Ratsaki ever since he came off a poor old slip. Raksak has been amazing, he's been unbelievable, he's been taking on players and he's just confidence, man. If, he, if we can get a good run of games with him in the side and he plays on that second half and gets into the game more, well, he'll do well. He's got to be patient, he's got to be ruthless when we do get a chance. The problem is I can't see a score, I don't know where a goal's going to come from, but yeah, just keep it how it is and we'll be walking away without a defeat. Hopefully that happens, so see you then for the second half. Oh, Palace man, call of a forest. Come on, wake up. Yep. Hey. So we passed the ball out for five minutes. Lost the ball, Forest maybe score. It's Gibbs while trying to catch Johnson out of the hip post. What a miss! What a miss! What a miss! What a miss, man! What are you doing, man? How we not scored? How? How? Hey, referee! Hey, well done! Well done, Rucksacky, mate! Well, 50 minutes to go, I might as well go on there. Gyro's now down, Ozo's gonna have to come on surely. But this is ridiculous, I think he's all right. Is he coming off? No. Yeah, he's coming off for Richards. Bloody hell, man. Yeah, Richards is coming on. Oh, I think Richards is gonna have to go midfield or something. We're gonna go like a back five. Jesus Christ, another two players injured. Well, what's going wrong in training? I, I've got no idea. Gibbs wide with a volley. Anderson or someone blocked that and it went over. If he wouldn't have blocked that, it would be 1 0 to Nottingham Forest. He sort of volleyed. What, a, what an effort that was. But defensively, Yoki Anderson, hang your head up high there. Blimey. Can we do it? And it would be like a victory right now. 10 minutes left. Riders of London.
I hope, uh, do you know what? At times like that, I wish it was Edward and I don't know, Matera or someone. Out of all players, Klein, he can't finish and pass the ball for Toffees. Do you know what I mean? Ah! Oh. Offside anyway! Hey! Super Sam Johnson, go! Eos! Take that all day. for the game so let's look at the positives of that really you know a solid defensive performance we kept our shape you know our strategy defensively was working out well we stopped Forrest from scoring we stopped them from playing at times as well I thought we kept the ball very well Mark Gay was my man of the match Sam Johnson was superb made some top saves Joachim Manderson was like a rock at the back I think Anderson and Gay had the best centre back partnership potentially in the Premier League what Mitchell did well uh, Riedeval blew a bit of hot and cold. Hughes was solid and excellent in that. Our forward line, apart from when Raksaki came on, it did amazingly in that. You know, getting a lot more minutes under his belt. And he needs consistently a load of minutes, you know, in a load of matches. And we can get the best out of him. He was brilliant, I thought. I thought Edouard and Matera report. I oh, did okay. He wasn't amazing. Um, Richards came on in that as well. Schlitt went off injured along with Riedeval. Two other injuries. They both, I bet you any money, were hamstring injuries in that as well. What a surprise that is. Honest to God, losing check to Kurineze with hamstring injuries in the week and that as well was a massive blow. So something is right behind the scenes at training and that, you know, the medical side of it, the physical side of, you know, what they're teaching the players and that and coaching them on, something ain't right because the fact we've got about four hamstring injuries in the space of a week, something is not right and it needs to be addressed between now and the international break or the end of the international break, I should say. We need to sort our stuff out and that. We need to really fix up big time because it's not looking good and we just look really kind of, you know, a bit kind of lost and soulless up front. But defensively, we're good. Hence to why we're picking up points and we're getting results and grinding out tough performances and that as well. You know, three clean sheets in a row in the Premier League. Can't remember the last time we did that. It's pretty good going to be fair in that. So I'm proud of the boys in that. And um, yeah, look, we move on to after the international break with Frank uh, um, and Mada and Elisa and Lerm are still, which aren't, well, they're not, they're not kind of that far off coming back from injury, you know, allegedly. So hopefully they are back by then. But it's going to be a tough two, three weeks ahead for Palace and that this month. So we really got to be prepared for it. So yeah, I mean, look, I, I just, I just want us to, you know, just put in effort, give a good shift. And just get results. If we nick games 1-0 like we did last week at United, fair enough. If we get nil nils and defend solidly and that and keep a clean sheet with the predicament we're in, fair play in that, you know. Fair play to Roy. He's doing the best he can. It's just a shame he's let down by mugs like Steve Parrish. Um, you know, he didn't really spend much money over the summer window on the players we needed to strengthen the squad. And this is showing it's backfiring, you know, it is really showing how, you know, how thin on ice our squad is overall. Yeah, um, it's not looking good really, you know, with our squad, but at least we're getting results. At least we're still in the top 10 going into the international break at the time of this recording on a Saturday night and that. So, yeah, but we got to fix up big time, man, you know, behind the scenes, you know, training. Um and yeah man it's going to be a long few weeks and that so yeah but good result Um, every time I wear this black kit here we seem to um, not lose and that so yeah I'm going to keep it up on that <laughs> seems like my lucky shirt right now so I'll keep wearing it to matches and hopefully we start and beat it we've got a bit to sort out a lot of stuff to sort out and that at the club but at least we're getting the results like I said so yeah take care in a bit and up the palace